Spring is a time when many gardeners start to enjoy the early fruits of their labors. When flowers bloom and the first vegetables of the season begin to grow. And as tender spring greens mature, so arrives the flash and flutter of creamy wings. A large white butterfly eyes up the cabbage patch. As the name suggests, she's bigger than other white butterflies. She's looking for somewhere to lay her eggs. This leaf will do nicely. Large whites lay clutches of up to a hundred jewel-like eggs. And after a few weeks, the caterpillars emerge and they're ravenous. They set to work on the cabbage patch. Their voracious appetite for greens has earned them their colloquial name, cabbage white. But this feeding frenzy also gets them into trouble and not just with frustrated gardeners. The smell of the caterpillar's saliva, when mixed with chewed up leaves, attracts an unwanted guest. Cutesia glomerata, a type of solitary wasp no bigger than a flying ant. She's looking for somewhere to lay her eggs, and to do it, she'll risk life and limb. She pounces on the caterpillar, an opponent many times her size, and takes some deadly blows. But finally, she gets a few uninterrupted seconds to lay her eggs directly into the caterpillar's abdomen. She might not survive, but her job is done. The caterpillar carries on as normal, seemingly unscathed. But as it grows, so too do the wasp larvae. Two weeks later, it's time for them to break out. They release hormones which quieten the caterpillar, freezing it in its tracks. Then, using sharp teeth, they bore holes through the skin. They contract their body in waves, wriggling out segment by segment. When they're almost out, the larvae start to spin a golden silk around themselves. Then, finally, they prize themselves free from their host. They haven't spilled a single drop of blood. The caterpillar is still alive, but it's far from free. Its mind has been chemically altered by the wasps, and its instinct now is to serve the offspring. Using its own silk, it reinforces the wasp cocoons. It will now guard its tiny masters day and night, until slowly, it starves to death. A few days later, the adult wasps start to emerge. The males appear first, with some of them impatiently waiting for the females. Once they've mated, the females will head off to repeat this cycle all over again. 
These wasps are so common that by late summer, up to 70% of all large white caterpillars can suffer this fate. So, the next time you curse them for decimating your cabbage patch, remember, it's only the lucky ones that escape this grisly end and make it to the beautiful adult fluttering form.